Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So there are several reports during the rounds online on different platforms where users are saying that they are experiencing performance loss after upgrading to version 23H2 of Windows 11, which is mainly affecting the central processing unit, the CPU, where users are experiencing reduced CPU performance after updating to Windows 11 23H2 from Windows 11 22H2. And it's not just updating. Apparently, um, it's even after doing a fresh and clean install of the OS, which obviously is understandably concerning, especially for gamers. Um, it's more affecting gamers, um, according to these reports, who are saying that their games are stuttering with this reduced CPU performance, which obviously could cause a problem like stuttering and drop in frame rates. So obviously, this is not optimal. And according to Microsoft, this is all being caused apparently by the Windows Security app and Microsoft Defender, which is bundled into the Windows Security app. Now, if you are experiencing this issue with uh, the degradation of performance after upgrading and clean installing Windows 11 version 23H2, and you are experiencing issues with gaming, then Microsoft says you can reset Windows Defender using some PowerShell commands. Now, these are the commands. This is the first one at the top, and this is the second one. Now, what I'll do is I'll leave both of these PowerShell um, commands in the description for you to copy and paste. But what you need to do is you need to, first of all, copy the first one, because these are quite a mouthful, so just copy um, from the description box below, copy the first one, then head to your start menu, right click on that and go over to Windows PowerShell and run it as admin. Now if you can't find Windows PowerShell and it's not in your right click start menu, then uh, just do a search for PowerShell. And then obviously you enter that command at the prompt, hit enter, and then wait for that to be applied and that to a run and then once that's done you get to the next command which is the second one and you just copy and paste that in once again that's quite a mouthful so this will all be down below so once that first command has run you head back to powershell and then at the prompt you enter the second command you hit enter and wait for that script and that command to run and when that's finished what you need to do is you then need to reboot and then what you need to do and it's suggested is head into your bios and if CPU virtualization in your BIOS is turned off, then you need to enable CPU, CPU virtualization in your BIOS. Then what you need to do um, after you've restarted is head back to the Windows Security app. Then this time you head over to Device Security and click on Core Isolation Details and make sure that Memory Integrity is turned back on if it's turned off. So you need to enable memory integrity under the core isolation settings. And then once again, you need to restart Windows 11. And on that restart, hypervisor should be running after that um, reboot. Virtualization security will be enabled. And according to Microsoft, this could fix the CPU performance issues that are causing those problems mainly affecting the reduced CPU performance, as mentioned, mainly affecting gamers with stuttering issues and dropping frame rates. So uh, if you are experiencing issues and the negatives are outweighing the positives, then try this. Um, as mentioned, these uh, commands for PowerShell will both be in the description. Uh, both of these will be in the description box below. Copy the first one in, run it, the second one in, run it, and then just follow the instructions in this video, and that should solve the issues. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.